going on YouTube? It's TRB. I get a lot of people asking me, uh, even though I, me and Interstate parted ways, would I still recommend them? And my answer is absolutely yes. If you're looking to change your life, make more money, and just get a glimpse of what it is to be close to what an owner, close. Got to make sure I say that, close. You're not an owner operator, just close. You're, a, as Chase and Andrew say, you're a business owner that drives a truck. <laughs> But I would definitely recommend Interstate Distributor for uh, for your next move. If you, it's it's easy to get in compared to Snyder. Um, you get to pick your own truck, um, and you are responsible and for the amount of money that you can make. Um, I don't know what it, the procedure is now because it was new when I got into it. A lot of things have changed. Some people come in, go straight to the board. I think somebody sent me a message saying that it's six months to get to the board. Either way, you can always call the recruiter and ask for yourself. And um, But the reason why me and Interstate parted ways um, was its own reasons. But would I still recommend Interstate as a place to go start out as a lease? Absolutely. Especially if you live on the west coast or western region or somebody who don't mind being on the west coast They have a lot of freight out here on the west coast. So you can definitely make uh, Good money compared to a company driver uh, over at interstate doing their freedom board so For all the people that's asking yes, I still would recommend interstate as a uh, place of uh, to go dip your toe into the water of uh, being a lease operator um, and Interstate and Snyder is probably the, and Swift is the only three companies that you will hear me say. Um, the company I'm going to after this is not going to be Interstate or Snyder. Uh, and the reason why I don't put the company that I work for out there is because there's a lot of people who do not want to see you prosper. Um, and they will definitely like with Swift. They call my company, you know, and um, because I do YouTube and doing YouTube, uh, a lot of people. For instance, if I didn't do YouTube, I would still be at Interstate right now because uh, that's the reason why I had to leave Interstate was because of a YouTube video I did. It wasn't anybody that necessarily called in. It was just uh, their policies and procedures that uh, I was not aware of, or I was told that I broke. So it wasn't that, you know, a troll called in on me, but it was the simple fact that I made a video combing my beard and I took my hand off the wheel to comb my beard, just like when you're smoking a cigarette, drinking a coffee or whatever. But uh, the content that I had in that video was made as a suggestion and it was definitely taken personal, especially when, you know, you get, you know, certain people calling like, hey, you're basically saying that we're not doing our job. And I wasn't putting it out there to say you wasn't doing your job. I was putting it out there to say, um, there, you know, as a suggestion, ways to improve the in in mainstream what it is that they was starting. Um, but it is what it is, and it happened. So, if you're looking to go from a company driver to a lease position, uh, Interstate is definitely an option. Uh, Snyder is definitely an option. If you're looking to start out, you got a bunch of starter companies: Swift, Warner, J, uh, not JB, uh, US, is it US Express? You just got to do your research. Um, and you need to do your research. Um, some people also ask me about going to Swift, what division they should go in. Me personally, I went reefer. Shout out to Garrison. Garrison was my dispatcher, really good guy. Kept me rolling. Uh, I was averaging about seven to a thousand dollars a week. Uh, just keep in mind that if you do reefer, you need to understand what your detention your detention pay is. That is key information, people. If you are going to go do reefer, you need to understand because reefer is mostly live load and live unload because that product has to stay at a certain temperature. You need to you need to be you need to know it down to a T what your detention pay will be. Um, so interstate, yes, interstate will change your life, um, and it will put more responsibility on you, and that way you'll be able to see. For instance, if you go to Snyder, and you dip your toe in, and it's not for you, the load board's too much. You you don't know how to properly plan your loads. You can't get in the correct location. You're running too fast. This and that. But you sign a contract, so you have to stay at Snyder for a year. Or interstate. Uh, when I was there, there wasn't no contract. It was walk away. So basically what happens, you go to quality, you pick out a truck, uh, 
they put the decals on and you start running. Um, and if you see like, hey, I can't make it here because there's people out, out there. Like I, me personally, I'm like, how can you not make it if you already know what your fixed cost is going to be? But there are people out there that just can't cut it for whatever reason. Uh, they're not getting home enough, even though you're picking your own lows. I don't understand how that's not possible. If you know, what you're, again, if you know what your fixed cost is, but or something might happen in the family or whatever, whatever was going on, um, you have the ability to literally say, "Interstate, um, I'm putting in my two weeks, and uh, so on, so on and so forth," and you just go give the keys back to quality. <coughs> Boom, that's it. You know, if you go to Snyder, I'm hearing that you got to do all these kind of physical tests, get up under the trailer, do this, step up on this, and do this. With Interstate, you didn't have to do that. It was uh, easier because it's more, um, it was more easier to get in. Uh, as right now, I don't, I don't know what it is then, but when I did it, it was make a phone call when you, when you do get in contact with a recruiter, go pick out a truck, orientations two days to give you $150 a day, quality give you a full tank of fuel. And you get out there and run. Um, some people also ask me, staying out on the road five, six months, is that how you make the most money? To me, no. Reason being is eventually you're going to have to take a 34 hour restart. Uh, recapping, you can make extra money be, depending on if you do drive only eight hours a day. Uh, and a driver's work week, somebody posted a week is seven days, a driver work week is eight, eight days. Um, so if, if you can manage your time, say for instance, I'll give you an example, if you're picking your own loads and every load you pick, um, if you can get one or two loads in within eight hours, if you run eight hours a day, that means you can run every day. Eight hours. I think, I think it's eight or 8.5. If you run eight to 8.5 hours a day, you'll be able to run every day. There's no stopping depending on what your circumstances and situation is. So you can continue to pick lows that's five hours away, drive another 30 minutes to an hour to your next load, pick that next load up, drive another hour to shut it down, get up in eight hours because if you understand how recounts work, you get that eight hours back after midnight. So uh, it just all depends on how you set your things up. And that's the perk about picking your own loads is that you can set it up like that to where you can basically run every day, make X amount of dollars every day. Um, what else I was asked? Um, do what I still recommend Swift as a starter company? Absolutely. Uh, my experience is not going to be the same as yours. You need to understand that. So, um, <coughs> my experience is a little bit different because I had a good driver manager. Uh, shout out to Ryan. Ryan was a guy who watched my videos, went to Swift, and he did not have a good experience with his trainer. So his his views on Swift is completely blown out the water because it's like whatever this trainer was doing really bothered him and to, to the point to where he quit and went to another job um so the experience is gonna is gonna vary because you're dealing with a variety of personalities and a variety of different people uh again my the tdi was cool i picked everything up like that my my drive my uh trainer was great absolutely a great guy great guy i i can't i have one trainer great guy um, we got it in, we got it on, and I went on my way. And when I got, I went to reefer. Uh, didn't know how to do reefer. Swift just said, "Look at the back of your paper." He looked at, the, I looked at the back. He said, "I was gonna be reefer." Hey, it's whatever. Because what am I trying to do? I'm looking at the bigger picture. Okay, I'm trying to get the experience I need to go out here and do what it is that I want to do. I went to um, reefer. I got Garrison as a dispatcher. Great guy. He gives me a load. I got it there on time. Uh, he, he see that I was a runner, so for whatever reason, I would get get long loads, you know, going from one end of the country to the other, um, and it's all about the bigger picture, and that's the last, that's what I'm going to leave out on. Um, <coughs> when you do come out here to trucking, as you heard me say and many other YouTubers say, have a plan. Uh, if your plan is to go local, that's what you're going to focus on. If your plan is to go OTR, see the country, that's that's your plan. Just come out here with a plan and some way to uh, get into the position that you want to get in. Because at the end of the day, despite what people might say in the comments or what I say in the video, go lease, go lease, go lease, go leases might not be for you. Okay? Um, well, I take that back. This is not the end. Let me explain this. A lot of stuff that you hear me talk in my videos is my plan. Okay? 
this is my plan and your and my YouTube is my journey. And you guys are here. You can gain some type of knowledge, uh, inspiration, or uh, entertainment, uh, or if it just brighten your day, or if you're just looking for somebody to poke on or whatever. I ain't talking about. Beep, I'm talking about actually like uh, I don't like this guy for whatever reason. That's perfectly fine. That's what my YouTube is about. So my journey might not necessarily be your journey. Long story short, my journey might not be your journey. But just, hey, uh, make sure you subscribe, like, share. I thank all you guys for rocking with me. Uh, thank you guys for coming by uh, and hopefully enjoying my YouTube. <laughs> I am the right brother, TRB, and you are uh, awesome, you know? And to everybody that's going to school, this is the time to go to school. Right now, uh, February is the time to go to school because by the time you get out, spring will be kicking in and you'll be able to get out there and run and make a little money, okay? Always keep your eyes on and your mind focused on the bigger picture, despite what some people say. Keep your mind on your bigger picture, okay? Because you're the only one that can sculpt your canvas. It's TRB, baby. As always, thank you for stopping by. Take what you want, take what you want, take what you want, take what you want.